again. Uh, today I want to talk about my Chanel collection, which isn't very big, but I'm so happy. When I went to Portland this last trip, I went to the Chanel counter and she gave me some brochures on the sublimage. Sublimage. And she gave me some samples, and so I was going to tell you how much the real deal is. This is the Sublimage Essential Regenerating Eye Cream, and in the real size, it's $200. Then she gave me the Sublimage Essential Revitalizing Concentrate and in the real size, which is one ounce, the other one was half an ounce up for the real size, the one ounce of this is $425 and she gave me the uh, Essential Regenerating Fluid and 1.7 ounces is $295. So you could buy a small used car for that. But anyway, that'll be fun to try when I run out of my ran and see if, you know, the really high end, if it really does make a difference. Especially on my tough skin, so that'll be interesting. Today I have on, I'll talk about that, and then I'll get into the Chanel. I have the uh, Estee Lauder Daywear Plus, and what's the rest of what it says? I wish I could not wear glasses. Daywear Plus Multi-Protection Antioxidant Moisturizer Sheer Tint Release Formula. This is the one I said that's kind of gray but can't really tell anything. It's not like a BB cream or anything like that. Uh, so, I don't know what the tint does. I also have on the Laura Mercier Natural Beige Mineral Powder, SPF 15. I use my little MAC Kabuki brush. I think I like the MAC Studio Fix. Well, I use NW25. Anyway, it's a compact. I like it better. I get more coverage, so I'm going to use this up, and then I'll get the compact, and the compact would be easy to travel with. Since I'm going high end today, I would use the Hourglass uh, in Pearl for my concealer. I just rubbed it under my eye and patted it in. <clears throat> I don't know whether you can tell the difference or not. And then on my eyelid, I used my brand new, now we're getting into Chanel, Illusion, Illusion Dombre Longwear Luminous Eyeshadow in Epitaph number three. Epatant, E-P-A-T-A-N-T. E -A -A um, anyway, it's the green, but it barely shows green. Um, and it's very shimmery, and it comes with a little brush that, you know, comes apart, but it says Chanel, comes apart. And since I didn't know what brush to use of my own, I haven't seen any, anybody really do it with a brush. I use their brush, it's an angled brush, it's a little long. So it's kind of soft, and I just rubbed it on. The lady said, just do it on my lids. Don't go into my crease at all. And so I did that. Oh my God, this is the most fantastic eyeshadow I have ever used. I feel like I'm putting on a jewel. And I'm really glad she told me not to go up into my crease because, you know, the creepiness and stuff. Uh, I'm just thrilled with it. Um, I'll use that for good, but it's, it's a cream, so I'll keep... Alright, then, so let's move on. Um, the Jules Contrast Powder Blush uh, I got in Rose Bronze. She helped me pick the color. And um, it looks like that. Anyway, it's just a nice subtle pink color. I won't say peach. Um, there was one called In Love that I was really debating about, but she said if I had orgasm, this would be more different. Oh, God, I can smell the rose. It just smells like roses. It's, you feel so, you feel so pampered when you use this stuff. Then, uh, um, well, backing up a little bit, I told her I looked at this book called um, How Not to Look Old. She'd heard of it, a friend of hers had it, and she said, oh, yes. This is the color, the lip gloss, because I said you're just, when you're my age, you're not supposed to wear dark color, you're supposed to wear pink. And lately I've been wearing the, some pinks, and I, you know, like orgasm and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I like that on me. And so she said this was the exact gloss that they talked about in the book, and it's called Rose Sand, it's a glossomer. Well, I put it on, and that's what the still will be at the end, and it's really sheer. So I was a little disappointed it was that sheer, 
So if anybody knows the Chanel lipstick you should wear underneath that one, let me know. Because it would be fun to have a whole Chanel outfit. So today I put on the um, Elizabeth Arden blush. And you've, I've shown this to you before because I figured it would be close enough to the, to the Glossomer. And uh, so it shows a little more. I'll walk up close and give you guys a close up. Oh, and then, now I don't have these on, but um, this is the Dragon, the, um, you know, something lack, like lacquer. Um, Rouge Allure Lac, number 75. And this is the Dragon. Show you that swatch, and this is the rose sand. So you'll see the difference. How there's no hardly any pigmentation without. And then I've shown you the top top cappy, the for well the quad, the eyeshadow quad that I can't bring myself to swatch and hardly even open because it's so pretty. <laughs> Sometimes I tell my evil self eBay in a while and I could make a fortune and I'm not going to answer that and this is the swatch let me shut the door so that's it for today or that's it for right now I have a bunch of little videos I want to do but I'm really late doing chores I gotta go put the horse in the barn and maybe I'll get back here if the phone quits ringing and get some more videos done for you guys so thank you so much for visiting with me and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. It keeps me, keeps me making these things. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.